Hello, America, and hello, world. Good morning, Filipinas. Welcome to our The Teacher Voice, and this is an hour show that aims to give teachers the opportunity to talk on air about their unforgettable journey, their thrilling adventures, share their splendid wisdom to inspire and give hope to our listeners and viewers. This show airs by the Philippine Las Vegas radio station, located in the heart of Las Vegas, every Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific Time and 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And in the Philippines, it's Sunday, 9 in the morning. I am Teacher Judy, your host, and my co-hosts for tonight are Teacher Pasita from Pasita Ross from New York. Hello from New York. Yes, and our dear Tita Josie Harrison from Las Vegas. Hi, how are you? Good evening uh, to all New Yorkers and Las Vegas. It's just afternoon in there. But before we proceed sa program natin, let us greet muna sa ating mga teachers dyan all over the world. Tita Pasit. Hi, um, maayong aga sa Masbate, where I come from. Um, magandang umaga sa Pilipinas. And then dito sa US and other places, um, my greetings, special greetings to you. How are you? And I hope you are all fine. Yes. So how about Tita Josie Harris? Hi, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat sa Pilipinas. Sana ay nanonood kayo ng aming programa. As usual, you will get a lot of guidelines, mga payo at ideas how to become a good teacher pagdating nyo dito sa United States. True, true. And isa pa, this is a beautiful um, show dahil it will give them inspiration also and uh, we can inspire people and especially as what Tita uh, Josie said, you, teachers, you can gain a lot of knowledge in here from this show because we will tell you some of our joys and pains as teachers. Joys and pains. Correct. The joys and the pains, right? And then, tonight we have two wonderful teachers and they are from Las Vegas and they are going to, sh to, do, to join with us and share with us all the struggles, the pains, and the joys. That's what I mentioned. And we will try to introduce them. First, Tita Josie, please. Okay. Uh, I will not mention her name. I would like to surprise you, but take note that they are from Las Vegas. Yes. So therefore, they are good. Oh, wow. Very Better good. Than the New York teachers. <laughs> she has 17 years of teaching in the Philippines, private schools, finished master's degree in special education, major in autism and mental retardation, working on dissertation paper, to finish doctoral degree of education, major in innovative um, educational management. Now she is teaching as math resource teacher at Mario C. and Joan Monaco Middle School. Wow. That's it? Okay. Yeah. Our other special <laughs> guest for tonight is also a special education teacher. Uh, he has been teaching for almost seven years now. Bata pa siya. And he has taught both in general education and special education settings from preschool to high school. This is very impressive. Currently, he is a special education teacher in Las Vegas, Nevada, and he teaches elementary autism. Now, may I now introduce... The person I just introduced to you, his name is Michael Arcega. Hi, Michael. Okay. And the yeah. other teacher is Edna Ingles. Hi, Correct. Edna. Yes. So Edna and Michael, we want to to um, welcome you to our show, and it is our pleasure to see you here. And we are going to grill you. No. <laughs> 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 no. All right. We are expecting that we will learn from you also. Your experience, oh, yes, your journey as a teacher. And um, 
Let us prepare our ears. Lend us your ears, guys. And we will have a question in here. Uh, Edna, tell us, Michael and Edna, tell us about your uh, site in there. What do you, what uh, grade or right level that you are teaching and what uh, specific uh, subject? Tell us about it. Okay. Uh yeah. <laughs> no, but before that, Edna and Mike, oh, so yeah. try to uh, greet first your family back home. And you know, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm from Bicol, specifically from Sorsogon, so Marayna Adlao. Oh! <laughs> oh so yes. My family from Sorsogon. <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Opo, Marina Adlao. So, um, I'll start first. Um, si so we, we came... Another, oh, si Michael. Okay. Hello, po. Hello, po. Sa lahat ng mga taga Pampanga. Uh, Maya, pagkat pa na akong po kaya kayo ngayon. So, I'm from Pampanga, uh, specifically in Angle City. Ah, oh, so... Yeah, so, okay. kapang... Po. Oh, Very they have nice. their own dialect too. I could not even uh, understand what you were saying. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, boy, in English. <laughs> I see. Okay. All right. So thank oh, you, okay. Edna and Mike. All right, Ed. Can you tell us, Edna? Oh, yes. Um, We are so lucky. Uh, me, personally, I was, I'm so lucky to be hired as a math resource teacher at Monaco Middle School. So I am teaching kids with special needs, mm -hmm. specifically math subject. So yun po ang trabaho ko dito nung dumating po ako at nagsimula nung Pebrero. And ngayon po na Hunyo, meron po kaming uh, summer program and I have also students uh, that I am teaching in math, actually helping them in math. Uh, who are who comes who come to school because it's now face to face here. So, oh, yun yeah. po ang pagtitich ko ngayon. Yes po. Ayun. So, ako naman po. Uh, luckily, I am hired at uh, Iverson Elementary School po here in Las Vegas, and I am elementary. teaching element yeah oh, elementary yeah. autism po. And so, I am in a self contained classroom po, unlike Mom Edna na sa resource teacher resource room po siya. How many students do you have, Michael? Kasi self-contained ka. How many do you have? Yes. Po. So, yung, yung ano ko po is basically I have uh, eight students. Pero this summer po, uh, I only have uh, six students na nag-enroll for summer. How old are they? Uh, they are usually uh, nine years old to oh, elementary ten years level. old. Oh, okay. Yeah. Elementary. Ikaw din, Edna, elementary level din ang ano mo? Uh, middle school. Middle, oh, middle school po ako. So that's yes. six, seven and eight. eight six, yes, six, seven, seven and eight. eight. Oh, okay, yes. okay. So, mathematics what? sa kanya? Yeah. Ang kay Edna, ha? Mm -hmm. For science? Math, yes math, po. Math, Very math, specific right? po dito, yeah, yeah. Specific po pag resource mm -hmm. teacher ka. Yeah, ha. Pero mm -hmm. math for special education students yan. Ha? Yes. Hindi yes. yung general or regular students. Yeah. Yes. That's true. Could you tell us about your, first of all, let's go back a little bit sa Pilipinas. Uh -huh. ano? Could you tell us about your uh, experiences there, yung work experience ninyo doon, and where exactly were you? Yung bang ano, balikan muna natin sandali ang inyong mga nakaraan. Before <laughs> 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 you came here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Edna first, so, and then my... Bata muna. <laughs> okay, okay, good. So, uh, so po, after I graduated from college, nag-apply po agad ako. So luckily, na-hired naman po ako sa private school. So yung first uh, teaching job ko po is as a grade 2 teacher. And then on my second year, nagturo po ako ng preschool. Tapos a gen uh, general, general setup po. And then after two years po, uh, nag-move po ako from private to public school. So nagturo po ako ng uh, two years for uh, grade 4 and grade 6. And then uh, on my uh, fifth year, I teach, uh, nag-taught po ako for uh, high school students with visual impairment and oh. intellectual disability and also mga with hearing impairment din po. 
Oh, so special ed Ayoko. teacher kan talaga sa Pilipinas. Yoko, major ko po talaga is special ed po. Oh, wow. Pero na-experience ko po lahat from gen ed, yes, to special uh-huh. ed, from preschool to high school. Which is very enriching, di ba? Yes po. Kasi mo ang maraming pa. Parang na-experience ko na po lahat ng ano. Yeah, uh-huh. How about you, Edna? Uh-huh. Uh, I had a long journey. Uh, before I became a teacher, I actually graduated with bachelor's degree of computer science. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I'm not a teacher. So basically, mm-hmm. I'm not a teacher. My very first job is not a teacher. It's as an admin staff. And then, well, I don't, you know, I, I don't settle for that one. So I took, um, what do you call that? Uh, yes. License, yeah, units for teaching. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. Uh, so when I got that in two years' time, I got my license. I took an exam, so let up. And then I, I had my license. When I got my license, that's the time that I started teaching. Since I my background is uh, computer science, so my very first teaching load is as a computer teacher. And yeah. then eventually, um, I decided to transfer to another school, grade school. Doon po ako medyo tumagal. I, I stayed there for like eight years. And then that is where also I got inspired to take master's degree in special education. Kasi ano po siya, yung halo ba? Right. Na may, may, may kids with special needs and then may regular kids. Right. So parang doon ako na-inspire na magkuha ng, ng master's degree in special education. So I, I, I thought, but I, I'm, I am a general ed teacher there. Mm-hmm. Tapos doon ko po din natapos ang, ang master's degree ko. And then after that, I transferred to a Waldorf education in Santa Rosa, Laguna. And I stayed there for like uh, seven years. So doon naman po ay middle school and high school ang handle ko. Okay. So oh, yeah, it's a long journey for me. <laughs> oh, thank you Before for telling I became us. Became a teacher, yes. <laughs> but you look young. Are you not? Oh, thank you. How many numbers, mo ha? Thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. Now, your time is here. Kita Josie, please. You you said you are you know having special ed students. Uh, yeah, Michael. Um, oh, yes, but do you have assistant in the room? You know to take uh, actually, care. Actually, uh. Uh, very different po dito sa Philippines po talagang ikaw lahat alas yung gumagalaw no? yeah. at maraming ma, ako uh, unlike po dito uh, meron ka pong assistant sa Philippines yeah. po kahit uh, self-contained ka ikaw pa rin po lahat yung mag ano, <laughs> right. uh, yeah. uh, gagalaw lahat lahat ng preparation sa'yo po yeah. Michael did, didn't you find it very hard to teach these uh, students right now from the Philippines uh, in, to here how do you yeah how do you evaluate your skills in dealing the students actually yung moving po from the philippines to us is very challenging uh lalo na po yung transition from uh face to face to high uh, hybrid to yeah, online or mm-hmm. uh, virtual po so uh, luckily po, uh, during my time in the Philippines, nag, uh, nag, nag-ganun na rin po kami. So, meron na rin pong same scenario sa Philippines. So, pagdating po rito, medyo uh, ayos na po, nakara, naka-adjust naman po agad. Uh, the thing po is, iba lang po talaga yung culture dito sa US. So, yun po yung parang major adjustment po. Pagdating po sa mga bata, at saka po sa mga ginagawa, talaga medyo ibang-iba po. <laughs> what are those differences? Can you mention uh, for example po sa paggawa po ng IEP ganun yeah. so usually yeah. po sa Philippines po hindi, wala po kami masyadong training yeah, exactly. wala po kami masyadong uh-huh. gumagawa noon mm-hmm. yes po pagdating po dito uh, tinulungan po nila kami paano gumawa inassist po nila kami gina- hindi po nila kami pinagawan lang basta-basta so yeah. before po kami gumawa so in- mm-hmm. po, ginaid po nila kami yung mga My process treatment. step by step process kung paano gagawin po yeah, so you get po, the uh, Yes. Yes po. Yes. So yun po yung mga kaibahan sa Philippines at saka dito. Medyo may assistance po talaga. At saka uh, bago po gawin yung isang bagay, uh, assure muna po nila na alam mo na paano gawin. That's good. Yun po. I, I am just wondering, 
Um, Michael, especially in your case, mga yes. autism na mga students ang tiniteach mo. And then you are saying only eight students in one class. That's why, right, yeah. So, how do you teach students with this uh, disability? How? Uh, so, uh, yung number po nila ganun lang kasi usually po, uh, marami ka pong kailang, lalo na po sa IEP, gagawin, gagawin po ng tigi isang IEP yung mga batang yon. So unlike po sa mga uh, ibang sa mga regular pag marami po sila is minsan lang pong lesson yun. So sa kanila po i-base mo po sa abilities nila sa uh, skills nila kung ano po yung ituturo mo sa kanila. So may sinusunod po kami gaya ng IEP, yung po yung susundan namin para paano paano sila ito uh, tuturuan. So ganun po yung setup namin. So may kanya-kanya po silang way paano po sila matututo or yung level po nila, yung po yung ituturo namin. But your style, your your strategies, the one that uh, America is giving you, the curriculum. Yes, you don't have that style, the strategies and methodology methodologies there back home. You don't have. Yes, that. po. Yeah. Uh, actually, meron din naman po pagkakatuwad pero po uh, as a beginner po. So ginagawa ko po is kung ano po yung uh, na nadatnan ko dito, uh, inaadapt ko muna po. So at right. least po yung, right. kasi po yung mga students ko yung po yung nakagisna nila so pag po nag-iba sila ng routine medyo uh, mahihirapan po sila so sinusunod ko po yung routine na nakasanayan nila. Uh, 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 so ganun po kasi yung mga with autism na mga bata. Um, how about Edna? Kasi special ed din ng iyong mga estudyante. Do you also uh, make the individual educational plan yung IEP na sinasabi ni Michael? Do you also have that? Yes. Yes. Actually, the difference between the self-contained and the resource, resource is, thing. yeah, it, it's really a, a, a two different things. Correct. Because pag self-contained po, siya lahat na magtuturo, yeah. mm-hmm. almost all subjects, Correct. even the IEPs. And she, he has the kids with him. Me naman, okay. I have my caseload. Okay, I have my caseload. I would be given like 26 caseload. Ibig sabihin po nun, yun yung mga bata under my my care yeah. na right, gagawan right. ko ng IEP, Correct. but it doesn't mean that they are in my class. No. So, as a resource teacher, I have my caseload and then I have my own teaching class. So, medyo, medyo matrabaho kami na resource teacher because as a math resource teacher, I have, like, like what I did uh, uh, last school year, I have three periods of math and then one potted class. So yung three periods ko po na yun, uh, I prepare lesson, I, I prepare activities, mm-hmm. mga ganun. Tapos mm-hmm. at the same time, on the hindsight, I would do the IEP of my caseload. And then I would prepare yeah. the progress wow. report, I will follow it up. So so talagang matrabaho po. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kasi I have to, yeah, have I have to connect with the... Yeah, I have to connect with the teachers Correct. na humahawak nung bata na nasa case load ko. Case load, no? right. So yes, right. opo. So medyo matrabaho mm-hmm. sa akin. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Have you ever, any, uh, this question is addressed to both of you. Have you ever had an experience on a challenging situation whereby a student couldn't be maintained? You know what I'm saying? And right, right, right. You have to ask, maybe even the assistant couldn't maintain the student. Is there any experience that you have to call the parents and, you know, share with them the problems you're having? Ako po, meron po akong experience na ganun. So, recently lang po, last, bago po matapos yung school year na to, so, meron po akong isang uh, student um uh, medyo challenging po yung behavior niya. So, uh, ang nangyari po is, hindi na po namin makontrol. So, marami na po kami. Nag-ask na po ako ng help sa admin, sa mga ibang teacher. So, yun naman po. Uh, medyo na ano naman, medyo kahit sila po nahirapan, pero at the end of the day, na ano naman po namin. Nagawa naman po namin ng para uh, paano. Uh, at least, hindi na po ma- ma- ano, maulit sa ano. I guess that's one thing that Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. I guess that's one thing that I want to give emphasis on, that the admin, they are very supportive to us, mm-hmm. especially us, the special education teacher, that if we experience such kind of 
you know, mga problema inside the classroom, uh, madali silang matawagan na mag, mag, magbigay ng tulong. Kasi syempre, when we have a lot, we have a lot in our plate. So, pagkaganyan na hindi, in, is, is, tapos may isang bata na mag-meltdown or whatever. So, syempre, kailangan na namin lagi ng help. So, uh, uh, and we have the assistant teacher with us always, pagkaganyan po. Yeah. Uh, tsaka especially po, yung pong mga bata, hindi pwedeng hawakan, di ba po? So, yes. kailangan yeah. po talaga, maingat talaga dito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In as much as, as much as you can, talagang hapaan oh, mo ang oh. PC ng pas, ano? Pasensya. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's yes. true. Yeah. Apo. Yeah. Yun ang kwan dito, isa sa mga bagay talaga na, kasi tayong Pilipino, mahilig tayo mag, you know, o kaya, yes. mayroon mo yung bata. But you Even cannot you just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, oo. Mahihing, ano talaga. Did so, you ano, ever have an orientation before your teaching uh, yeah. whereby you were told your limitation as to touching or, you know what I'm trying to say. Do yeah. you have that orientation before going on teaching the students? Yeah. It actually happened uh, not not on a orientation face to face when we arrived. Uh, that's very understandable because of the pandemic. So mostly po modules. May mga sinisend po sila sa amin na modules oh, and videos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, and videos. And then uh, after namin ma mapanood ang mga videos, ganyan. Mayroon kami mga mga quizzes. Parang ganyan. So, yeah. yes. Nasa computer, everything grabe, super high-tech dito talaga. Yeah. Ang sinasabi yeah. naming module is not the print out, I know. but it's the module. <laughs> it's the module na online. nasa, yeah, online. It's online, right. Oh. Yes, so, uh, very so that's what we learn from it. Pero pagdating naman sa school naman, we are also being reminded and uh, oriented by our Uh, supervisor, coordinator, so yun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. So, yes, so, Tita Yes, so far, um, ano palagay ninyo ang magagandang experiences ninyo dito sa um, sa US, ano? US education especially. Um, lalo pat, ano, is this your first time to be here sa, ano, in, in, a, in a foreign land, ano? So, yes, po. Ano yung pinakamagagandang, pinakamagandang so far na experience nyo sa um, inyong pagtuturo? Hmm, Edna or Tatsa? <laughs> Ikaw, ano ka? Uh, ako po yung magandang experience ko siguro dito, yung ano, yung natuto ko pa na gumawa talaga ng IEP. Kasi Good, importante po correct. talaga yun, especially po pag nagtuturo ka ng special ed, Uh-huh. So sa Philippines po kasi hindi kami masyado talagang gumagawa ng gano'n at hindi kami nag-implement ng gano'n. Yeah. Hmm. So dito po talagang yeah, natuto, yeah. Ako, oh po, natuto po ako paano gumawa, ano ba yung dapat gawin sa mga ganyan-ganyan. Do minsan po medyo uh, kumakapaparan ako kahit pa paano. Pero uh, good thing po is nalaman ko siya paano siya gawin at paano yung mga prosesong dapat gawin. Ano mo na strategize mag-teach sa... Because of that IEP, yes, po. you have to plan. Nakakatulong po talaga. Uh-oh. Yes. And And pa, na- yeah, plus they have also the curriculum. So it's just a matter of choosing the curriculum or the module that is good for that student, right? No, specialized ito talaga, individualized. Yeah. Correct. Iba, iba but but sila, eh. you mentioned while ago, uh, Michael, na mayroon yes. silang curriculum. Now, what is good for yeah, this? There's year. always, there's always a curriculum. Oh. Right. Oh, so, Edna. Edna, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, same, with, same with Michael. It's very structured, organized. So that's the best experience plus the support. I'm so lucky to be at Monaco Middle School because the, the, the admin, especially the principal, they really made it clear for us that... Uh, they got our back, you know? Um, pag kasi dito, halimbawa, magka-problema sa mga bata, tapos usually kasi dito uso ang isusuka, and, uh-huh. ano, oh, yeah. magsususu, magkaso-kaso. Right, right. uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> Di ba, mga ganon? Uh, so we we are really very careful. Every day, I have to log in kung ano mga ng events, mga ganyan, kung halimbawa, nag, nag-act up ang bata, ganyan-ganyan, even if it's online, kasi... 
alam mo naman, kahit online, nagpapakita sila ng mga, <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> mga magagandang, yeah. mga, mga yeah. who, who they really are, no? Tapos, yun, um, ano kami, we are instructed to to note down every day. Tapos, meron kami tinatawag na infinite campus where in there is a teacher log. So, doon kami mag, mag-input ng mga, oh. mga reports namin. So, it's really very organized. It's very structured. Tapos, alam mo yun, na pag parang babalikan ka ng, ng parent or whatever. So, I, we can show that na, oh, we sent you an email like this. Right, this right. Is what we, oh, this okay. is what we uh, talked about. Mga ganun-ganun po. So, kumbaga, uh, ano kami, supported kami ng district as well as as the admin, the school admin na uh, whatever happens. Kumbaga, alam mo yun, we, we, we got your back. Dito kami to, to help you out. So, that's one thing na... Uh-huh. Very ano, heartwarming, very, alam mo yun, masaya. <laughs> Maganda. Uh, very good. Very good. Mm-hmm. How many, okay, so you, this has been your three months. Uh, because you came here February, February, you said. Yes, so, pero nag-start po kami ng Feb. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So February, March, April, May, June. Yeah, yeah. Four months. This has yeah. been your yeah. four months. So... This is very new. America is new to you guys, right? So from the Philippines, uh, as far as I know, you are here with the J-1 visa. Am I correct? Okay. Yes. yes. So from the Philippines, how many years you you tried to wait until your visa came? Actually, um, uh, we had the... Uh, We had the interview January 2020 yeah. or yeah, 2019. Yeah. 20, 2019, 20. I think. We forgot na because of the pandemic. Because the district of uh, the superintendents <laughs> of the CCSD of Las Vegas came to the Philippines. Oh. Tapos nag-interview sila sa amin sometime in January. Okay. Tapos we were the lucky ones na, na hire. <laughs> so from there on, uh, process na kami ng papers. And then we so are supposed me, to Edna, leave. Yeah. This is direct hiring from the district. No, no. Okay. Through agency, but then the agency got these people to interview us. Okay. So they interview. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. So so that's the first step. Uh, so we were interviewed by the people from CCSD Las Vegas. And then, so if they they liked us, they they hired us, they gave us pe- uh, paper, they offered us the job. So supposedly June 2020, yeah. we are to fly to Vegas, but because of the pandemic, 2019, so now, 2020, yes, 2020, right? Yeah. 2020. So yeah, so yeah. the delay, the delay, and everything. So we're still, um, although the visa sponsors are there, we have like three visa sponsors for us. We are 68 to 70 teachers. Actually, actually, more than, more than, uh, uh, wow. yeah, we're, we're more than 100 hired. But Good. then comes, uh, comes November, parang ano na kami, um, uh, the agency said you have to leave by the end, by early December. So that when we arrive here, we'll be able to process the, our social security number, um, yeah. uh, license, and uh-huh. then the fingerprinting. And then we are ready to to teach by January yeah. 4, which is actually the, the start of the semester. So uh-huh. very timely, sana, right? But then uh, early November, because of the pandemic, the ones who hired some of us, didn't push through. So, mga nawalan kami ng work, actually. Oh. Nawalan kami ng, ng ano, ng mga, mga schools. schools. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nawalan kami ng schools. So, what the agency did is that early November, uh, they opened like a Zoom link like this. And then, we presented ourselves. <laughs> Para kami, ano, <laughs> marketplace ba? <laughs> Tapos, they would like, um, like I would type in uh, Edna Ingles, SPED teacher, like that. And then, if they need one, parang they would directly contact you, and then you will have a different Zoom meeting with them. They interview in kanan ng assistant principal and then principal. So, again, uh, God is good. So, ayan, 
na makuha naman ulit kami ng ibang mm-hmm. schools. That's why I ended up with at Monaco Middle School. So, unluckily sa iba, kaya kami naging down to from from more than 100, naging down to 68, 70 kami, mm-hmm. right? Na naka-less ng December. So, yun ang nangyari. So, my batch mates kami na naiwan, which hopefully will be joining us this June. Yeah, this month. Mm-hmm. Na parating. Apo. Pero kasama dapat namin sila last uh-huh. December, but uh-huh. because of the pandemic, yung mga ibang school na declined ang ang ano nila ang application. Okay. So the visa uh it came in actually a bit um also delayed because again of the pandemic. Pandemic. Uh as well as yung yung appointment namin sa sa lahat halos. Visa, sa CFO. lahat halos, right? Sa CFO. Wow. Grabe yung mga pinagdaanan po namin. <laughs> Sobra. And Wala. Ito na. Mm-hmm. Awa naman ng Diyos. <laughs> okay, so Maganda naman ang reception sa inyo. It's a real journey. Talagang journey yun. Mahaba pa yes. yung journey nyo, ano? Yeah. Yes po. Sobra, sobra. Kasi, there are some yeah. districts also that right now, there are so many dis- uh, districts, not just in Las Vegas, the whole uh, state, oh, uh, 52 states, that you can just go and go to their website and then apply there straight without agency. They prefer a lot of schools right now, districts, that they want a direct um, hiring right now. But in your case, you have the agency, right? Okay. Yes. So we have at least 15 minutes more and there will there are some questions, Tita Paset. Yes, I do. Okay. Now, um, Michael... Um, it's like you had fallen in love with IEPs, you know, individual you know, <laughs> <the> plan. <laughs> Kasi you are very, um, very pleased na natutunan mo ito kasi sa atin sa Pilipinas walang ganito, no? So I am thinking if and when you return to the Philippines, dadalhin mo ito doon. Now, alam mo, marami tayong nakikinig ngayon ng mga teachers, no? We have a good following of ano, mga fans. Ano, <laughs> what, if, what if you tell them an, an idea of how to go about writing an IEP or individualized educational plan mm-hmm. sa iyong mga special ed uh, students. So, you know, kasi we want to give in for itong program, no? The show wants to give information and inspiration sa mga nakikinig. So, what if you tell them about how to make an individualized educational plan or IEP? <laughs> so, ano po, uh, you start uh, pra- uh, to start with po, so, Making an IEP is not easy po. So we need to first uh, mag-gather. So kung galing po siya sa ibang, or uh, may mga records po siya, dapat kukunin muna nila ng mga records niya. And then, uh, kailangan po natin kunin yung, uh, tawag dito, uh, academic, uh, yung, what do you call this? Uh, mga reports niya. Uh, 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 yung level reports. po niya. Academic, academic level, level po niya. Okay. Tapos, uh, and then, uh, kailangan po niya ng mga goals kung ano po yung uh, kailangan natin i-target within uh-huh. a year and then uh-huh. annual goal po and then yung kung sa, uh, sa goal po na yung kailangan po nang mayroon tayo mga uh, benchmark or objective per goal po niya okay. so quarter before so ano po kaya kasi yan uh, usually po sa amin sa OSIM meron po kaming uh, math yung target po namin dyan yung math yung reading niya yung writing and then Correct. social yeah. social and emotional and behavior po. So yun po yung mga basically mga inaano namin sa kanila. Study skill. Also. Study skill. So mostly po sa mga bata po namin mas inaano po mas important po namin kung paano mo modify po yung behavior nila. So secondary po yung uh, academy. Ayan. So, so meron din po tayo. Ma- uh, Mike, emotional first then the academics. Yes po, yung social, emotional, social, yeah. social, emotional, and behavior po. Kasi yun with their case po, yun. yes po. So mm-hmm. kasi po sa case po nila, yun po talaga yung problema kasi sa disability po nila. Mm-hmm. So yun po yung minomodify namin. Correct. Uh-huh. O, mas importante po, mas maano po yung mas maayos po. Kasi dun po yung, uh, ang tawag dito, dun po yung may problema talaga. Oo uh-huh. 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 
when I was still a practicing teacher, ano, may mga kaibigan ako na mga ano sila, special ed students. So, ano, very lengthy yung kanilang mga ginagawang IEPs. That, yeah. that, that, that is really the biggest, ano, part ng kanilang trabaho and most of their time is spent, spent on writing IEPs. Ganun ba yun ka, ka, kahirap or ka detalyado or ka komplikado? Yes. <laughs> Yes, oh, super matrabaho po. Matrabaho talaga. Dahil Edna and Mike, pariho kayo mga doktor eh. Do, parang sa chart ng patient, <laughs> alam mo yun. <laughs> da, da, yeah. kasi, parang evaluator kayo. Oh, counselor po. kayo. Oh, oh. Um, it's a different approach when we say mga special ed dahil sa case ng students. Mm. Exactly. The kind of students that they are right. Pero Ed, ang sa iyo, Auti- hindi i autism na. Ano? Halo po sa amin, sa, sa, sa resource kasi po, at uh, ang iba is highly functional, ang iba naman ay, um, may, may, meron ding may, uh, yeah, meron may autism, merong uh, may behavioral problem, may, may intellectual disability, yung mga ganun. So, ha- pareho kaming dalawa, mixed. Ang level lang namin is, sa kanya elementary sa akin high uh, middle school in which ang focus naman namin is is ano academics uh-uh. na ma-help sila doon opo uh-huh. pero yung yung pero yung mga disability is the halos same. pareho yes wow. the same mm-hmm. wow mm-hmm. can you give me example of students with behavioral disability Behavioral problem. What are some of the... Um, Characteristic po ng autism? Characteristic. <laughs> hindi lang actually, kasi uh, autism, hindi lang autism na may mga behavioral ano, yes, problems. Po. So, Kahit yan tayo nga, may mga behavioral problems. Yes, po. Ano ang time in is? Can you see? <laughs> ano ang mga behavioral most common uh, mm-hmm. manifestations of the uh, behavioral difficulties of the student? Oh, this, uh, so usually po meron po tayong three. So sa social po nila, hindi po uh, social. Uh, sa communication po nila. And then sa social communication and what is the other one? Uh, uh, so uh, usually po kasi sa social is that other mm. student be um, you're sila. not comfortable na sila, huh? yeah 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 parang eye to eye contact hindi po sila uh-huh. nakapag eye to eye contact and then uh, ang sabi ko rin na isa ayaw mag join hindi po uh-huh. pag PE time uh-huh. mga ganoon mga, an- yeah. mga anti-social sila yes uh-huh. they have a problem to communicate to yes, be with uh-huh. other yun. people yung express right? po nila yung sarili nila uh-huh. manahirapan po uh-huh. sila okay very good and then intellectual no na academic na yun din yung uh, sa amin kasi sa middle school po it's not really the focus well study skill kasi we are preparing them for high school so medyo doon kami nagkakaibang nagkaka nagkakaiba na hina-handle kasi kami ang focus talaga namin is academic so uh, study skill let's say for example nitong nangyari itong online so we do give them like assignments, uh, worksheets. So, part yan ng IEP na uh, they should be asking questions from the teacher kung hindi klarado. So, isang goal yan. Uh, secondly, uh, dapat they should turn in the assignment like after a week or two. So, parang binibigyan namin sila ng leeway lagi. Kasi uh-huh. syempre nga, nasa, nasa ano sila, special ed. So, somehow, yun ang mga focus namin. And then sa math, halimbawa, ang goal namin for them is they should be able na maka, maka-compute ng mga two, two digits, two digit three digits, number. ganyan, in addition, yeah. subtraction, and then multiplication and division, or in uh, word problems as well, yung mga ganyan. So, yun ang, sa amin, yun ang mga focus ng sa, ng sa IEP namin. Meron ding behavior, but then... Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we also consider More that one. academics because you are yes, preparing po, students kasi, to, to in another yes. level. Ganun, huh? Yes po, yes po. Yan ang focus ng middle school. Huh? Okay. So, okay. kami po, modify namin yung behavior nila. So, right. para pagdating ng ano po, medyo, pero inaano din po namin yung academic nila, pero mas more on po kami sa 
uh, behavior po talaga nila. Kasi doon posi- okay, talaga yung ano nila. Wow. Isn't this difficulty? very interesting and it's very informative? While I am uh, listening, I said, mabuti lang hindi ako sa uh, special ed. <laughs> I'm a um, busme. <laughs> Do you have in your teaching program or agreement or contract, do you have like a uh, Oh, how will I label this? I well, I can say orientation on the actual sickness or diseases or or challenging. Yeah, yeah. You have that teaching. every month that you will study. Okay, if the student is like this, this is what's happening. This is what you should do. Do you have that kind of orientation? Medical intro. Uh, Actually, yeah, yeah. You At the beginning of the school develop. year, we will be provided with the health condition of the kid. I Let's see. say, for example, ako, I have one uh, who has a, a spinal uh, problem. I forgot uh-huh. the term. And then, so, nasa wheelchair po siya. Okay. Uh, uh, so, yeah. And then, my anyway. And then, um, mayroon ako, I, I printed out yung health condition niya kasi just in case na mag-seizure siya, whatever. Right, right. Nandun, nandun na kalagay ano mga, ano mga gagawin ko. Kasi syempre po, But pag dinervious na, na ma- makalibot ka na kung anong gagawin mo. Yeah. So yan, so far yeah. naman niya, that, uh, he, she's the only student that I had na gano'n ang condition na naka-wheelchair. And then, it's very nice to na... Um, After my class, i, i ano ko siya, tata i tutulak ko ang wheelchair niya pagpapalabas sa gate at nagaantay na ang mommy niya. So you know, uh, you oh. really would go out of your way to help this kid. So yeah. yun, uh, we are oh informed gosh, kung ano man ang mga condition ng mga bata. Yeah. Yes po, yes po. Oh, yes. Ano, yeah. <laughs> so how are the ki- how are your family back home, guys? Um, now I I know that you are right now in in the uh, coping stage emotionally. You know, being away from the family. How do you cope, guys? Edna and Mike. For four months, you've never been with the family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, salamat po sa technology kasi it's as if, you know, parang hindi naman malayo ang distance namin because like this, what we're doing right now, di ba, we're very thankful for the technology na every day makakausap mo sila, makikita mo sila real time. Correct. So, so far, alam mo yun. Uh, and then you really have to... Have you experienced oh? nakakry ka na wala mga... Yeah, yes. Lalo na po nung Mother's Day. Oh, umiyak talaga ako. Oh. oh, well. Kasi I have four kids. Oh. Pero malaki na yung panganay ko. Mm-mm. Yung pangalawa ay 17. Yung pangatlo is 12. And then may five years old ako na girl. Oh. So yun. Oh, umiyak talaga yeah, ako yeah, Mother's yeah, Day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Michael, Michael. Uh, ako naman po... Uh, Medyo madali po yung adjustment ko kasi mahilig po ako mag-travel. So, at saka po yung uh, inisip ko na lang po para sa para rin sa family ko. And you know, so, Sorry, yun po. Na, mas madali. Opo. <laughs> <Family, laughs> single kasi, tita po, kasi. Po, tita Josie, single kasi. So, uh, uh, nanay at tatay oh, ito. Okay. Opo. Uh, uh, wow. That's so you nice. better get married before you go back to the family. Oo nga po eh. <laughs> Sana po. Isang second chance. Sige. Magkausap tayo, Michael. Ha? Mga sige. Magkausap tayo. Sige. But anyway, um, it's almost time. It's so nice, guys, that you naunlakan nyo ang aming show. Pinaunlakan. Pinaunlakan. Pinaunlakan nyo kami. Kung sa, kung sa ilunggo pa, salamat na. Mm-hmm. Oh, salamat ha kay Gin kay Gin Margie Ni, Margie gin accept sige na lang accept na lang English na lang kay Gin accept nyo ang amon nga invitasyon 
Right. <laughs> Salamat din po. It's our pleasure po. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, this is so beautiful. It's so nice, guys. I just have, I think I just have one question for okay. um, either one of them <laughs> or for both of them. Okay, mm. so... I am sure you're going back home kasi hindi pa kayo pwedeng magstay ng ano. Although you can extend, right? Uh-uh. So anyway, pagbalik ninyo, ano palagay ninyo ang nakuha nyo rito sa US na dadalhin nyo doon sa atin sa Pilipinas to help our um, nation, the nation, our nation building in terms of uh, education? Edna first or Mata? A lot. Super. Ang dami naming pwedeng uh, ma-share. Especially if we will be able to have our own, well, school. Kasi di po, di po ba, uh, we all knew na pagbalik ng mga J1 teachers, back to zero. So wala kaming work chan pagdating. So whoever will hire us, they will be very lucky. Nuts. Totoo <laughs> <laughs> yun. Yeah. Totoo <laughs> yun. Totoo yun. Totoo yun. Totoo yun. Totoo Sobrang dami namin natutunan dito, ah. like the IEPs, the Infinite Campus, a lot, super. Mm-mm. Yung mga, hopefully, new hopefully, technology. alam ko yun. New, new yes. technologies. Okay. Yes. Po. Yeah. Wow. How about you, Mike? Get Ayun po. Mind. So, uh, pagbalik po doon, IEP, anak ko ng IEP. Opo. <laughs> IEP, siyempre. Kasi po nangis talaga ako. So, actually po, before po ako pumunta dito, Pinagawa po ako ng IEP na wala akong ka-idea kung paano gawin sa Pinas po. So gumawa po ako ng IEP doon na as in wala po akong idea paano gawin, walang training. Pero ginawang po po bago ko umalis kasi kailangan po. Kailangan daw po ng mga bata. So napakahirap po nung gawin. So ako po, uh, ginawa ko po sa kung ano, kung ano lang alam ko, sa, nag-research lang po ako na gano. So own ano lang o oh, ano lang po talaga pag nung, nung doon. So pagdating ko po dito parang oh po, pa, nung pong pagdating ko dito, nakita ko po parang same structure yung ginamit nila. So parang parang kinuha lang po nila, inadapt lang po nila yeah, yung dito yeah. ng IEP. Yes. So yung po yung napansin ko, so yeah. na, ano po ako na parang akala ko format ng Philippines yun. So no. ano pala, US pala siya. So dito po mas natuto talaga ako. So pagbalik ko po doon sigurado po, mas matatama ko po yung yung ano po yung uh, paggawa talaga ng IEP na tama. Very good. Oh. Yeah, ka Kasi kung may training na talaga na dito. Ano. Is... Michael, <laughs> hindi ka na ba? Yes. Magkakandak siya yeah. ng seminar how to write an IEP. Uh, yes, okay. dapat na. He will Sabi be a speaker. Ni dapat. Sabi yes. ni Tita Josie, uh, hindi uh, na siya ba? ba hindi ba? ka na ba balik sa atin? Kasi <laughs> yung hawapan na natin. Tawa na. Josie, ano pa na? Sen- Yes, yes, yes. of America. Josie, yeah. that's your that's your homework, Josie. That's my homework. Yeah, yes, okay. yes, Michael. Wow. Yes, 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 <laughs> dami ito, Tita Josie, dami itong mag-text sa kay Miss Jude na pwede kami makaano, pwede nyo kami ma-interview. Pwede i-match nyo. <laughs> I-match nyo din kami. Okay. Ayan. Pero, it's so, uh, wow, this is so awesome. I love it. Yes, But, well. you know, before we will leave, we are going to, baka Edna, Mike, mayroon din kayong quotes dyan. Quotes to inspire mm, our listeners. Tita uh, Josie yes. muna, Tita Pasif, tapos mm. Mike Ikaw, tapos yes, Edna, and then me the last. Okay? So, yeah. Tita Josie? Okay. My quote for tonight is this. Ability is what you are capable of doing. Mm. Motivation determines what you do. And attitude determines how well you do it. Correct. Yes. Perfect. I love it. Tita uh, Yeah. Okay. This quote is from Krista McAuliffe. She is the uh, teacher, the only mm-hmm. or the first teacher who went on an Apollo mission. Yung, yung sumabog. It wasn't successful. She died. <laughs> uh-huh. But when she was a teacher, she said this, I touch the future. I teach. So I'm telling you, kayo Mike, Edna, and the other yes. teacher, mm-hmm. you're, you're preparing, yeah, behavior modification, you're preparing mm-hmm. your yeah, yeah. 
for the future. That's why you are teaching. And I want you to, uh, to, to, to think that what you're doing is really helping the world yeah. in a big way, in a very big mm -hmm. way. So keep it up. Wow. Thank you. Okay, si Michael na ba? Or si Edna? Oh. Edna? Si Mike. <laughs> Nagturo ano <laughs> sila? Uh, <laughs> uh, sa, simple lang po yung sa akin. Uh, never give up on your dreams. Correct. So if gusto mo po talaga, yung, meron ka po talaga ang gustong maabot, kahit maraming pa pong challenges na dumating, so huwag ka po mag-give up talaga. Kasi kami po, ang dami po namin pinagdaanan bago po kami makarating dito. So, Okay. Yung pandemic po, yan ang pinakamalaking ano, challenge. challenge. So, hindi po kami nag-give up na ay bitawan lang namin yung pangarap namin. So, nagtuloy-tuloy pa rin po kami. Hanggang ngayon po, nandito na po kami. Dahil hindi Excellent. po kami nag-give up wow. sa dream namin na to. Tama. Wow. Very good. Yeah. Sige. Yeah, sige. And? Pang Mr. Philippines. Okay. Ang pang Mr. Very Universe. short lang po. Oh, sige. <laughs> Attitude of gratitude lang po ako. Uh, maintain an attitude of gratitude. Kasi for me, every day, whatever happens, you just have to be grateful. Be grateful for everything. Kasi right. alam mo yun, kahit na, uh, we, we, we see blessings sa pandemic. We see blessings with the delays. So if you have that kind of attitude na grateful ka pa rin, whatever comes our way, na parang even if it's not what you really wanted, Uh -huh. what you really plan to have to be but if you have that uh, attitude of gratitude everything will just fall into place so That's for me you and every day be grateful exactly wow. excellent so good. very good thank you so i have okay. i will summarize everything with this uh, verse in the bible in this is in uh, timothy second timothy i think for god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power love and of a sound mind this is so perfect uh, verse to all of us in here that especially to you edna and uh, mike god has not given you the spirit of fear okay but you have a power that's why you overcome this And yeah. Uh, yeah. this and a sound mind. You see, sound mind. God will give us wisdom Excellent. from the Philippines to hear. The Lord has given you wisdom, and every day just pray for wisdom because you don't know what is going to happen next the next day. Exactly. Right? Yes, God will give us wisdom. Guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very thank much. You, thank you so much. Thank you, so thank you Edna and, and Michael. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. We will talk, Edna and Mike. Okay, Mike? Yes, Mike. Yes. Good luck. 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 Good lu